Hi everybody, this is Stephen Pugh here. I just wanted to do a little mini video explaining how to use uh, and how to sharpen a scraper. Now these scrapers are actually a beautiful piece of equipment. They're used by cabinet makers. Of course, I'm a cabinet maker. So they're used by cabinet makers for, for planing an exceptionally fine um, amount of material off timber. Um, they are a little bit like a plane. Big, but the little blade is it's a tiny little burr that we specifically create on the edge. Now I'm going to put the camera facing downwards so that you can actually see my bench. So you won't see my face, but that's, that's okay. Uh, what it will do, it will give you an opportunity to see how something like this is sharpened. Um, and this is a very, very useful, very, very helpful uh, skill to have. So let me just uh, let me just put the camera down. There we are. I think that the camera now is able to see everything. So what we've got now is a piece of steel. This particular, th these cabinet makers tend to be quite expensive. This one is from an old saw blade, which I didn't need anymore. The teeth were pretty horrible. And so what I did is I just cut out a small piece of the steel. Um, you can then grind it to whatever shape you like and people like to have little curves and you can do all sorts of things like that. The most important thing is, I have a little linisher here, the most important thing is that you have a lovely flat surface and I'm going to show you how we create that. Now we take the, we take the, um, uh, we, we take the scraper and we put it on top of a stone and we just gently go up and down the stone. Now we need to do it quite a bit until you get an absolutely perfect edge right across the um, right across the blade. Now that is absolutely dead flat. It's already been in use in the past so it's easy enough to do. Next thing we do is to put it flat on the stone and rub it again. You'll notice it's wanting to hold onto the stone because it's very very uh, it's very very flat already so we do this. Sometimes when you're doing this a little burr will, ap will appear and you just take the burr away. Um, we now go this direction as well. Okay so now what we've got is we've got a piece of steel that's absolutely perfectly straight and on on the four sides. Of course, normally when you're working with a, a cabinet scraper, you will do this edge, that edge, this bottom edge, and the other. So you have four blades all in use at the same time. And I'll show you in a minute how it's used. Now the first thing that we do, okay, is to we need something that's very hard. Now. The steel in these uh, saws is quite hard, but it's not as hard as the steel that's in the side of a screwdriver. This is um, it's um, cr chromium vanadium. It's exceptionally, exceptionally hard. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use this as the burnisher to, to enable us to create the burr. The first thing that we need to do is to just find a straight edge. We'll take that and we put this um, on the surface like that and you make sure that the lettering is on the other side and you literally on a very slight angle of about say five or six degrees something like that maybe ten at the maximum you actually um, stroke the uh, blade um, up and down and you go off there we are you just go like that now what that's doing you might not be able to feel it but what that's doing is it's creating a burr and it's pushing the steel that way. We then turn it over and do the other side. A simple little process this is. In fact, actually, because of the fact that I'm quite close to it, I can actually see where the metal has actually been turned over on the burr. The next thing I do, a lot of people try to do this by hand, but I prefer to do this in a vise. It's much more, um, much more secure to do it in a vise. Is you take the same burr now, and you're going to the burr is now facing upwards. You now need to turn the burr back over again. So we hold this in the um, thing. We hold it fairly level, fairly straight, fairly 90 degrees, and we press down very firmly and we do this. And you want to be doing this enough times 
until you come over to about five or six degrees okay and the same in the opposite direction now what that's done is it's created the burr in fact I can actually feel the burr yep absolutely perfect I'm going to show you in a moment how that burr is able to be um, used now you use I, I'm going to just use the top of my of my little um, um, stone box I've got a little stone box here which is great and it's an ideal piece of timber to show you how this is used you don't want to be doing that too tight so as you pick up the as you pick up the scraper you can feel the burr okay it's, it doesn't have to be very dramatic but you've got to be enough to be able to just feel it and you can feel it on both sides in fact if I wanted to I could put a burr on all four sides next thing that we do is we take hold of the burr and we put our thumbs in the center and we try to flex it okay and as we try to flex it okay we then push and immediately you can see that that is taking off the finest of shavings okay and that's how you can clean up a piece of timber of course it's a little bit like using a plane in many ways but it, and I can turn it around to get the other side to see if that's any better oh yes that's got a really good cut you can see the shavings that come off are actually quite um, fine exceptionally fine shavings and you can just do this and of course if I come around the other way I can do it again the other way see how fine that is now if I was planing this whoops if I was planing I would find that the blade would probably be very difficult to get a fine enough cut what this does is it gives us a tool that's able to take an exceptionally fine shaving now take a look at this here this shaving is exceptionally exceptionally fine it is it is literally um, it is literally um, Th just a thousandth or even less a thousandth of an inch so it's exceptionally fine so there's there's a cabinet scraper cabinet scrapers let me turn this back up a bit cabinet scrapers are a, one of the most useful tools in a workshop but most um, most um, um, cabinet makers will have two or three handy they don't have to cost a lot they do actually cost a lot something like this could cost anything up to 20 pounds but of course this is just something cut out of an old saw it's perfectly um, able to be used and all you're needing is something like a stone ideally that will enable you to get an absolutely flat surface and also an absolutely flat surface on both sides this creates the absolutely perfect square an absolutely perfect square we then I'll just go through this process again make sure that the um, that the, the, the little screwdriver that you use is put on it's then put on at a very 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 slight angle can you see that and by running it along at that angle it just causes that corner to just bend over a little okay and we do that on both sides we can do that on all four sides then by putting it into a vise like I just did and putting the um, putting the um, the screwdriver at that angle initially nice and square and running along very very firmly and then we slowly increase the angle until it ends up at about five to ten degrees and certainly no more than that and we'll do that of course on both sides and this creates a burr that sticks out on both sides and that burr will of course be very 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 sharp and will be very very fine when I put my finger on it I can just about feel the burr very little indeed just about feel the burr this is an exceptionally um, valuable tool now some people may say well do I need to have this sent away to be sharpened no no you don't need to have this sent away this is not only a tool that every cabinet maker will use but it's a tool that would need to be sharpened sometimes every 10 minutes okay so every cabinet maker that uses one has to also learn how to how to sharpen it straight away you can't just have one 
um, that you don't know how to sharp on. This is something that's part of the cabinet maker's skills. So there we are. There's a little video for you. I hope that's of some help. Uh, we, we're hoping to do more and more of these little videos over time. There's so much involved in woodwork and in metalwork and in um, and in tool work. I mean, for example, the next time I do a video, I'm going to show you how I sharpen my hammer. And some people are going to say, pardon, you sharpen your hammer? What's that mean? Well, I'm going to show you how to sharpen a hammer. Hammers have to be sharp to be in use. This is an East Wing beautiful 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 hammer um, it has this leather it's it's 16 ounces it's absolutely the workhorse of nearly all carpentry and joinery um, so there we are we're going to come back to that another day and i look forward to catching up with you then please subscribe and please like these little videos if you like them and i look forward to speaking to you next time have a great day bye for now